Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back on this Friday. I'm so happy that you came back to be with us. So let's go ahead and get started on our lesson. Last Monday, we were working with the ooh sound, and we were comparing and contrasting a nonfiction text. We're going to continue that on today. So today, we're going to use what we know about sounds to decode words, and we're going to describe connections between pieces of information in a text. So, let, so Monday, we were working with the ooh sound. Can you say ooh? Good job. Remember, the ooh sound has seven different spellings. O-O, -O, U blank E, U by itself, E-W, U-E, O-U, and U-I. So when you see these sounds, you're going to say ooh. I'm going to blend some words for you. Watch me. I see you, I. You, I says, ooh. Juice. Juice. E-W is at the end of a word, and it says, ooh. Chew. Chew. U-E says, ooh. Cl ooh. Clue. O-U also says, ooh. Group. Group. Now, listen to me read those words. Juice, chew, clue, group. Notice in each word you hear the sound ooh. Now, let's do some together. Notice I highlighted all of those ooh spellings. So when you see those spellings in the blue, you're going to make that ooh sound. Let's sound them out together. Ready? Sound. Fruit. Fruit. O O says ooh. Ready? Sound spoon. Spoon. E W again says ooh. Let's sound it out. Blue. Blue. U E says ooh. Let's do the sounds. True. True. O U says ooh. Notice TH is at the end of the word. It's going to make that soft TH sound. Youth. Youth. And OO says ooh. Sound. Broom. Broom. Good job. Let's read the words with ooh. Ready? Read. Fruit. Spoon. Blue. True. Youth. And broom. Good job. All right. I have a passage for you, and I want you to take a moment and read through it, and I want you to look for those words with ooh. I didn't highlight them because I wanted you to find them. So read the passage and see if you can find those words with ooh. Did you find all of the words with ooh? Let's see. Did you find cruise? Good job. Two, pool, food, fruit, juice, crew. Did you find all of the words with ooh? Good job. Let's read the passage with ooh. Ready? Let's read. My family and I went on a cruise. It was so much fun, too. We had to swim in the pool. There were tons of food, like fresh fruit and juice. If you need anything, the ship's crew will get it for you. And I forgot about you. Good job reading with ooh. Continue practicing with those sounds, boys and girls, reading and writing with those sounds. Now, today I want to dictate with ooh, but I'm going to only focus on two of the sounds, E-W and U-I. I want you to notice that E-W is at the end of words. So today when I say a word, if you hear ooh at the end of the word, you're going to write the spelling E-W. If you hear the ooh in the middle of the word, you're going to write the spelling UI because UI is in the middle of words. It does not come at the end. So remember, EW is at the end, UI is in the middle. Are you ready? All right, your first word is flu. 
flu. Say the word flu. Let's say the sounds we hear in flu. Full oo. Where do you hear that oo sound? That's right, it's at the end. Let's write the sounds that we hear in flu. Full oo. I hear it at the end, so I'm going to write it, the, the sound spelling, E-W. Let's do another one. Fruit. Say the word fruit. Let's say the sounds we hear in fruit. Fruit. Where do you hear that oo sound? Let's do it again. Say the sounds you hear in fruit. Fruit. Where do you hear it? That's right. It's in the middle. It's not at the end. So what sound spelling are we going to use? That's right. U, U I. Let's write it. Fruit. Since I hear it in the middle, we use U I. Here's another one. Grew. Say the word grew. Say the sounds you hear in grew. Grr, ooh. Where do you hear that ooh sound? At the end. So what spelling are we going to use? E-W. Let's write grew. Grr, ooh. Last one. Suit. Suit. Say the word suit. Let's say the sounds we hear in suit. S-oot. Where do you hear that oo sound? S oot in the middle. So what spelling are we going to use? That's right, U I. Let's write the sounds we hear in suit. S oot. We heard it, we heard it in the middle. So that means we're going to use U I. Let me write it. We use you, I. Now, I'm going to say a sentence, and I want you to listen for the words that say ooh. Remember, sentences begin with the capital letter and end with the punctuation. Here's my sentence. The crew of a cruise ship is a good team. The crew of a cruise ship is a good team. Write the sentence, the crew of a cruise ship is a good team. All right, let's look at it. The crew of a cruise ship is a good team. I left off the two words with the ooh. Let's spell it. The crew, say the sounds you hear in crew. Crew, ooh. Where do you hear that ooh sound? That's right, it's at the end, so we're going to use the spelling E-W. Let's write it. Crew, ooh. The crew of a cruise. Let's say the sounds we hear in crews. Cr ooze. Where do you hear it? In the middle. So we're going to use the spelling U I. Let's write cruise. Cr ooze. The crew of a cruise ship is a good team. Good job reading and writing words with oo. Remember, E-W goes at the end of words and U-I is in the middle. Continue practicing reading and writing with the oo sound. Let's jump into our comprehension. Last week we compared cats and dogs. We looked at butterflies and moths. moths. And when we compare and contrast, we talk about or we bring out how things are alike and how they are different. When we are talking about how something is alike or the same, we use the word and. When we're talking about how they're different, remember we use the word but. So today we're going to read about panda bears and polar bears. And we're going to listen for ways or listen for details that polar bears and pandas are the same. And I want you to listen for ways that polar bears and pandas are different. So let's start reading. Meet a baby panda. In the United States, pandas live in zoos. Some baby pandas are born in the zoo. A baby panda is called a cub. At first, a baby panda does not look like its mother. It does not have much hair, its eyes are closed. The baby drinks its mother's milk. The baby grows quickly. Now it looks like its mother. The baby panda eats bamboo. 
bamboo is a plant. Then the baby spends less time with its mother. It likes to be on its own. It will climb trees and sit on branches. So that's what we read about baby panda bears. They're called cubs. They drink their mother's milk. Their eyes are closed. Those are all details that tell us about panda bears. Now let's listen for the details about polar bears and see if you see any that sounds like the, like the baby panda. A baby polar bear grows up. Polar bears live in ice and snow. A, boat, a baby polar bear is called a cub. A cub is born with its eyes closed. It does not have much hair. A cub drinks its mother's milk. The mother keeps the cub warm. The cub grows bigger. Soon the cub can walk. Its mother shows it how to hunt. She shows it how to swim. The cub likes to play. The cub grows stronger. The cub learns to swim. It can find its own food. Now the cub can live by itself. Oh, I heard good details about polar bears and pandas that are the same. Did you? Let's look at our think map and organize our thoughts. So remember our think map. In the middle, it shows how the two are the same. Notice that the lines from the, the panda and the polar bear connect to the same circle. This is where how they are the same would go. The circles on the outside pertain to only the panda bear. So it's going to tell you how it is different from the polar bear. The circles on the outside of the polar bear pertain to only the polar bear and it's going to talk about how it is different from the panda. So let's, we're going to go back and forth between our texts to show how they are the same and how they are different. Now, one way that polar bears and pandas are the same is that they're both called what? That's right. They're both called a cub. So baby polar bears and baby pandas are called cubs. That's a way that they are the same. So I'm going to write that in the middle. They are both called cubs. What's another way that they are the same? Did you hear another way that they are the same? I did. I read that they both drink what as a cub? They drink their mother's milk. So that's another way that pandas and polar bears are the same. So as cubs or babies, they both drink milk. All right. Any other way baby panda bears and polar bears are the same? Um, they do not have much hair. Both are born with very little hair. So that's another way that polar bears and panda bears are the same. So they don't have much hair. So I'm going to put born with little hair. So those are all the ways that the baby panda and the polar bear are the same. They're both called cubs. They both drink from their mother's milk, and they're both born with very little hair. Now, let's think about ways that they are different. What's one way that a baby panda is different from a baby polar bear? I remember reading that pandas eat bamboo, but polar bears hunt for their food, which means that polar bears eat other animals. They eat animals like seals and walruses. So that's one way that they are different. They eat different food. So pandas eat bamboo and polar bears hunt for their food. They eat other animals. What's another way that a panda is different from a polar bear? Hmm, I remember reading that a baby panda spends less time with its mother. So a baby cub panda doesn't spend a lot of time with its mother, but a baby polar bear, the mother teaches it how to hunt, it plays, the mother shows it how to swim. So that's another way that they're different. Baby pandas don't spend a lot of time with their mothers but baby polar bears do. The mother teaches it everything. So that's another way that they are different. So we're gonna say that the polar bear 
mother teaches it how to hunt, teaches it how to swim. So the mother teaches the cub. And with the panda, it spends time alone. So we're going to say spends time alone. Notice that I don't write sentences in my think map. This is just to organize our ideas so that later we can write about it. All right, let's find one more way that they are different. Um, let's see. The baby panda, as it gets older, it likes to climb trees and sit on branches. We didn't read that about pandas, did we? Also, another way that they are different is where do pandas live? In the text, it told us that they live in zoos. Where do polar bears live? They live in places that's cold with ice and snow. That's another way that they are different. Um, the polar bear finds its own food and it goes off and lives by itself. Um, so let's write that. So one way that they are different is pandas live in zoos and polar bears live in places that are cold. So those are all the ways that we found that polar bears are the same and how they are different. All right, so if we wanted to take this and write it in the sentence, we have to use our clue words. So if we're going in the middle, we're talking about how they are the same. We're going to use the clue word either both or an and. So polar bears and, I'm sorry, pandas and polar bears both do what? They are both, they both drink milk. So we can write that. Polar bears and pandas drink milk. That's one way that they are the same, they both drink milk. Notice that I use the clue word and, so my reader will understand that this is a way that they are the same. What's one way that they are different? Now I can choose one from the outside of our think map and I'm going to use the clue word but to show that I'm about to talk about a difference. So I'm gonna talk about what they eat. So pandas, Pandas eat what? Pandas eat bamboo. Do polar bears eat bamboo? No, they, eat, they hunt for their food, so we're gonna use the clue word, but. Pandas eat bamboo, but polar bears What do polar bears do for their food? They hunt. So they hunt other animals. So now when my reader reads, he knows that I'm talking, or, talking about a difference because I use the clue word, but. Let's read it. Pandas eat bamboo, but polar bears, they eat other animals. So I'm showing a difference between them. Again, with our similarities, we use the word and to show how they are the same. Polar bears and pandas drink their mother's milk. So those are ways that we compare and contrast. I want you to continue to reading and writing with the sound ooh and looking for ways to show how some things are the same and how they are different. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.